Hi, I'm Matt. Welcome to eSpares. In this video, I'm going to show you what to do if your Dyson Stick vacuum will not turn on. Now, always work safely. Disconnect the appliance before you start the repair. If your vacuum has stopped working and it will not switch on, it could be for a range of causes. I'm going to take you through these causes and find a solution to each one. If we have no light showing on both sides of the battery here, it indicates that there is a power issue. Let's take a look at the charger. Check the end that connects to the Dyson itself. Check the cable for any splits or damage. And of course the plug for any cracks or damage to the pins. If any of this shows any sign of damage, it will need to be replaced. Having checked the charger, if you try to use the vacuum and you get a blue flashing light, this one is simple. It just means that the vacuum needs to be charged and make sure you leave it on for at least three and a half hours to fully charge it up. A solid blue light indicates that it's charging. Another reason is because the battery is damaged. So check for any visual signs of cracks that would stop it from working. If no damage, the battery will still indicate it is faulty by flashing a red warning light 12 times or more here. This one is okay, but I'm gonna show you how to change the battery anyway. Next, I need to remove the bin. To do that, just push down on the red catch to open the bin and then push down again to release. Then I need to remove this tiny screw in here using a Phillips head screwdriver. And the second screw is located here so you can see why we had to take the bin off. And with the screw removed, you can then lift out the old battery and then replace it with the new one. You can then replace the screws. It's worth pointing out that the new battery does come with a set of new screws. And then refit the one in the handle. When replacing the bin, it's worth pointing out that this tab needs to go underneath the front rim of the bin. Another reason it won't turn on is because of a blockage, which is indicated by the blue light around the max button flashing. And I'm going to show you how to check for blockages. Let's start with the most common reason. When is the last time you emptied the bin? It has a maximum level indicator on the bin here. So if you go over it, it blocks the cyclone and it stops it from working. To empty the bin, simply press the red catch down here to open. Make sure you do this over your own bin in case of a mess, then close it and try again. The next thing we are going to check is the filter. It needs to be checked and washed once a month. It may require more frequent washing if vacuuming fine dust or if used mainly in powerful suction mode. The filter is located in the top of the cyclone here. To remove, place your fingers onto the filter and then pull upwards. I'm just going to check the filter for any signs of damage to the cloth as this will stop the filter from collecting properly and will need to be replaced. To clean the filter, run it under the cold tap until the water runs clean. Then wring it out as much as you can and leave to drain in a warm environment for 24 hours until completely dry. Do not put the filter in a washing machine or dishwasher to clean it as it could damage it. And when drying it, do not use the oven, a microwave, tumble dryer or a naked flame. To replace, simply push the filter back into the top of the cyclone. When I switch on the vacuum, we can see the brush bar pulsing every few seconds, which indicates there is a blockage somewhere. I'm going to disconnect the motor head and check the neck of the motor head. 
As you can see, there's something inside causing a blockage. So I'm just going to use my fingers to remove. I can then reconnect the motorhead and give it a try. There we have it, working fine. If it's still not working, the next area to check is the wand. Disconnect from both ends. Ah, and look, it's that pesky cloth again. And just ensure that there are no further blockages and that you can see all the way through the wand. Then reconnect the wand and try again. Another area that can get blocked is the bin inlet here. So remove the wand. And would you believe it's that pesky rag yet again. With the blockage removed, replace the wand and try once again. The last thing to check is the brush bar for blockages. I can see there is something trapped around the brush bar, stopping it from turning. This could be debris, string, or particularly hair. To get the brush bar out, I first need to remove the motor head. To remove the brush bar, simply follow the directions on the symbols here. Now to remove the cap, you can use a flat headed screwdriver, but I'm going to use a coin. So turn and then keep turning to make it pop up and then simply remove it. Easy to get the brush bar out, just lift up and then pull all the way out. You can then remove any debris that's causing the blockage. To refit, push it all the way inside the motor head and then replace the cap. The last thing that will prevent the vacuum from turning on is due to it being stored in a very hot environment or a very cold environment. This is to protect both the motor and the battery. It will either flash amber to indicate it is too cold or a solid amber, which indicates that the battery is too hot. The light around the max button will also flash. Seven flashes means it's too cold and eight flashes indicates it's too hot. There is nothing wrong with the vacuum and moving it to a better location will solve this as it's due to the operating temperature needing to be between three degrees and 40 degrees centigrade. So there we have it, how to fix a Dyson stick vacuum if it will not turn on. Give this video a thumbs up if we've helped you and subscribe for more handy how to videos. Find all the spares and accessories you will ever need on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.